hi guys hi welcome back welcome back to my channel and in case you're watching me for the first time my name is adiat and i am a home and lifestyle influencer content creator stay at home mom and i'm based in manchester united kingdom i have two babies and one husband <laughs> that's why i always say anyway in case you're watching me for the first time i am all about intentional living i preach about your standard of living how to elevate your standard of living how not to be basic and how to keep a glam tidy beautiful home even with children today guys uh, we're not cleaning we're not organizing anything we're not doing any of that today we're gonna talk so i have listed a few points because i'm um, on instagram people will be like adiat how do you do it how do you keep your home so nice how do you do this how do you do that so what i've done is i've put together a list of things i think you can do to make your home tidy even with little children things you can do on a daily basis things you can do weekly and things you could do monthly or seasonal so let's get right into it guys so guys uh, we're gonna get right into it now so the first thing first when you wake up in the morning in order for you to have a really really tidy home and for you to have a sane mind you have to make your bed I sincerely can't um, emphasize enough on the importance of making your own bed you just have to make your own bed when you wake up in the morning because even at that, it just, I don't know, it gives you some sort of, well, me personally, it gives me this sense of satisfaction. And that means my day is going to go well. I won't be grumpy. The house is clean. The bed is made. The second thing is going to be do your dishes, guys. Now, guys, let me give you a tip. I say this to my followers all the time. Clear your dishes before going to bed. And then you're coming down in the morning to a very clean and spotless space in the morning and that actually contributes to your day because rather than you coming down in the morning and seeing your sink filled with dirty dishes it's already cleared like if you're not gonna wash it put in the dishwasher and you can always turn it on i hand wash i don't use my dishwasher so that is very very handy the next thing here is a vacuum high traffic areas guys let me tell you right i clean the floor like three to four times daily with a hoover because i don't wait till the next day or the third day or whatever to do my floors to clean my floor because once it's dirty it's dirty i have little kids in the house and the moment you leave it it piles up and you're still gonna do it anyway so try and do your floors every day and i promise you you're gonna have a clean home if you do that the next thing is wipe down kitchen and walk top or appliances guys i love my kitchen my kitchen is probably my favorite space in the house i think it is you have to clean your kitchen like the kitchen walk top whenever you see anything that is not right clear it you make toast and there are crumbs everywhere clean it you do the dishes and the countertop is wet make sure it's dry clean your kitchen walk top the kitchen appliances when you do these things they may seem like it's a lot of work I won't lie to you <laughs> sometimes it can be ugh, it can be a bit too much but when you do these things i can assure you your home is going to be tidy next one i have is a uh, put things in their place oh yeah guys you have to put things in their place you just have to like when you know something does not belong there for example shopping we went shopping and you came back and you left everything on the worktop. It's going to be there. That's going to make more mess. So you might as well just put it away. If you are not using any appliances, put them back in their spot. You know, put the laundry back where it belongs. Put things where they should be and your house will look tidy. And it will be tidy, actually. The next thing here is take out trash. Guys, you just have to take your bin out. You have to take it out. Other than the fact that it's going to make the space look messy, it's going to smell as well and when your house is all smelly trust me nothing is right so i'm gonna share a tip with you guys you know i'm not sure wherever you are in the uk but where my council in manchester we have a designated bin for food only so we're not allowed mixed food with other bin or the trash so i would advise you have a bin caddy it's a small box bowl or whatever you can leave it under your sink that's what i do and then you're gonna have a bag and you can pour your food in there and then your general waste can last for five six days in the house but because there is no food there it won't smell and you can take out your food trash every night that's what i do and that's how 
high roll so take out your trash guys and the next one here which is the last one for things to do daily is wipe down bathroom surface guys cleaning your bathroom i clean my bathroom every day right because i have a boy child and i have a girl child and when my daughter sees we she's not gonna sit down <laughs> she won't sit down so i wipe it you necessarily do not have to wash the bathroom get a lot of bathroom wipes and just wipe it and make it look clean tidy it's a great tip guys try it so now we're moving on to things you can do weekly to make your house tidy let's go so on a weekly basis please change your beddings i change my beddings every week every seven days i change all the beddings mine my daughter my son and i put a fresh one in and that automatically just gives different vibe entirely it's just really important please change your beddings every week i think seven days is a great number to change your beddings number two vacuum all areas oh yes that is very important you know i'm talking about hooving the rug you know every corner in the house the stairs everywhere and that automatically keeps the house clean and the third one is organize books and trays. Yes, that is very important. Every week I go through the kids' toys, you know. Anything that is out of place, I put it back. I put things back where they should be and the kids know, they understand, you know. And everybody is happy at the end of the day because everything is in its own place. And the next one will be dust all surface. Yes, but personally, I wouldn't leave it for seven days. But I know some people, I'm trying to be realistic here because not everybody has the same strength. But I sort of dust my space um, every two days because I just can't stand dust. And you can, <laughs> they just, they get to me. So I just wipe everywhere down nearly every two days. But if you can, seven days is a good number. I'm talking about wiping down bedside table, the table, kitchen table, uh, living room furniture. You know, all the furniture in the house, just wipe everywhere to make it clean. And the next one will be mop floor surface. Yes, that is very important because every seven days, so actually every Sunday, my husband mops the floor uh, with our steam mop. Well, I use a spray mop on our floor every day anyway because I have white towels at home and you can easily see the dirt. But every seven days, my husband uses the steam mop so you can clean your floor as well every seven days. But like I said, I use spray mop on my floor every day just to keep it clean. And the next one is clean bathroom. Please, 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 please clean your bathroom. It's very important. For you to clean your bathroom it is very very important when i say bathroom i mean the bath the shower everywhere because when you leave it for too long and the dirt pile up then that is when you find it really difficult to clean your bathroom the last one here is declutter your fridge oh guys oh please declutter your fridge clean your fridge regularly don't be like me i cleaned my fridge the other day and oh god i left it for too long and it was it was a bit of a hard work for me to get it to what i like so declutter your fridge um every week and that would help so now we're gonna move to monthly and seasonal to be honest i don't think anyone should leave their house for a month and not clean it the monthly is actually just uh, an extension of the weekly one to be honest because um, on monthly basis i just say those tall corners clean furniture Clean that oven, clean your doors and handle. In reality, I do not expect anyone to leave that for a month without doing it, but I just thought I should mention it as well <laughs> because it won't be fair if I do not mention it. But this one is important seasonal. So, for seasonal, wash your windows. We personally do not wash our windows, but we have someone that actually wash our window for us. And then it comes in every six weeks and we pay him to wash all the window from outside. And then organized drawers. Yes, this one is very important. So um, each season I change the kids' um, wardrobe. For example, summer clothes, winter clothes, and then for spring and, and so on. I do that. I think you can do it as well because it will actually give you room to declutter as well because a lot of us have a lot of unwanted things we do not need we just keep hoarding and clean our pantry oh my god guy i cleaned out my pantry recently and whoa <laughs> the stuff i found a lot of spices i haven't used in a long time well not really my pantry my spice rack but anyway clean out your pantry and 
Next is wash pillows and duvet cover. Yes, I always have, not always, I've washed my pillows a couple of times. It's not always, to be honest. I've washed a couple of times, but I hope to be more consistent. This is just personal hygiene. Just wash your pillows and stuff. And, oh, the important one for seasonal, moving big furnitures around. I do this with my sofa. I move all the sofa and then we clean the under. We clean everywhere, every corner, literally. That's the last one, actually. <laughs> That's the last one, guys. So move your furniture around and clean everywhere. And I promise you, you'll be surprised the kind of dust and dirt you would find. All right, guys. So we've come to the end of the video. And I hope with this video, I've been able to highlight um, important things, important points on how you can achieve a clean and a tidy home. Well, these are the things I do. Uh, it would be nice if you can stick to the... things you do daily and how to maintain your home so yeah guys so guys i just want to say thank you all so much thank you thank you thank you thank you and if you're watching me for the first time please don't just watch please subscribe just click on the subscribe button and i shall see you next time for the next video and i really hope you guys enjoyed this and please comment below let me know what you think and I am always here. You can follow me on all my other social media platform. My name is the same, Ariato K. <laughs> and ask me questions, drop the comments. I shall always, always respond. I always respond anyway. I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye.